Jamaican stew peas recipe is a delicious and perfect comfort food that is made with red kidney beans, coconut milk, herbs and spices, and spinners. This stew peas recipe can be made with meat or just vegetables with the beans. In spite of the name Jamaican stew peas, it doesn't have any peas in it but red kidney beans. Jamaicans don't say the word beans unless we're referring to baked beans, broad beans, or butter beans. Everything else is just peas to us. Banana chips are one of the Jamaican foods you'll find everywhere on the island. They are a popular snack made from green bananas that are sliced thinly and then fried. You can find similar snacks where green plantains, cassava, or even breadfruit are used instead of our green bananas. And we have a variety of different brands in banana chips here. are prevalent in Jamaica. It is not uncommon to see herds of goats wandering around on the streets or even in the countryside. However, we digress. Curry goat is a common fixture on most of our Jamaican menus and no event on the island is complete without the offering of a good plate of curry goat. This traditional Jamaican food is usually served with rice and peas or plain rice. Curry was introduced to Jamaica in the 17th century when Indian workers were brought to Jamaica as indentured workers. Fried ripe plantains are a staple of Jamaican food. They are usually used as a side dish for breakfast, lunch, or dinner dishes. You will find that some Jamaicans like their plantains really ripe, while others like them fried when they're only slightly ripe. But the riper the plantain, the sweeter the taste. is a favorite in Jamaican cuisine and a common staple on the menu of many restaurants and cafes in Jamaica. This meaty goodness is usually served with broad beans and white rice. If you're wondering exactly what oxtail is, well, it is literally the meat from an ox's tail. <laughs> the meat is rich in gelatin, which makes it ideal for slow cooking into a stew. Cornmeal porridge is a traditional Jamaican breakfast dish. It is cornmeal combined with milk or coconut milk, cinnamon, nutmeg, and other spices. This hot breakfast meal is a perfect way to start our day. Jerk style cooking is the star of Jamaican cuisine. It has roots in the island dating as far back as the 1600s when maroons would use this method of cooking on wild boars caught in the hills. Now, jerk chicken and jerk pork are the most common jerk dishes and you can get them anywhere from fancy restaurants to street side metal drums. It's a late night favorite after a club or party, or for those who are backpacking Jamaica on a budget. Jerk chicken and pork are served in foil 
with bread or festivals. If you're wondering what makes jerk authentic, it's all in the wood used to smoke the meat. Jerk relies on being smoked over pimento chips to get its true flavor. Without the two main components of scotch bonnet, peppers, and pimento or sweet wood, jerk just isn't authentic. Roast yam and salt fish is a Jamaican food favorite, especially when going on a road trip. You usually find roadside vendors selling this dish. Yam is a starchy tuber and the type of yam used for this dish is yellow yam. The yam is simply grilled and sometimes butter is put on it. Salt fish is simply salted codfish. This is the same salt fish used in the ackee and salt fish dish. The salty taste of the codfish is a perfect complement to the roasted yam. This is Jamaica's national dish and is usually served during breakfast or brunch. It is usually eaten with yam, green banana or dumpling. The ackee fruit is boiled and cooked up with tomatoes, onions, black pepper, scotch bonnet and salt fish. Even though ackee and salt fish is our national dish, the two main ingredients are not indigenous to Jamaica. The ackee fruit was introduced to Jamaica from West Africa and the dried codfish is imported from other countries. If not cooked properly or if you cook unripe ackee, it can be very poisonous. If you spend Easter in Jamaica, you will invariably have someone ask you if you have had any bun yet. Jamaican buns are a sweet, dense bread that consists of raisins, currants, mixed peel, and other spices. The buns are more popular during Easter time, but are eaten in Jamaica as a snack throughout the year. Bun is usually eaten with Jamaican cheddar cheese. One of the most popular Jamaican dishes eaten at breakfast time is mackerel rundown. This traditional Jamaican dish is usually served with boiled green bananas or boiled yam. Mackerel rundown is made by cooking salted mackerel with coconut milk and seasonings such as onions, garlic, escalion, and tomatoes. These are popularly known as Johnny Cakes. Johnny Cakes are a popular Jamaican breakfast food. They are fried dumplings usually served with ackee and salt fish or callaloo. They are similar to festivals but without sugar. Stewing meat is another common way of cooking in Jamaica. After being marinated in lots of fresh seasonings including onions, escalions, hot peppers, thyme and sweet peppers, the food will be stewed down, making the meat incredibly tender. Common stewed meat dishes include brown stew chicken, stew pork, oxtails, beef and fish. Red pea soup is very similar to the stew peas dish. It's a rich and hearty soup made with kidney beans, coconut milk, pumpkin soup base, and salted beef. As you can see, Jamaican cuisine offers numerous dishes for vegetarians and vegans. <laughs> Festivals are a traditional Jamaican dish usually eaten with fish or jerked meats. Festival is fried sweet dough. 
The main ingredients are cornmeal, flour, baking powder, water, and a little bit of sugar. Every time I think of rice and peas, I think of Sunday dinners with my family. Rice and peas is a traditional Jamaican rice dish and can be found on pretty much any Jamaican menu. For this dish, red peas are boiled in coconut milk and spices such as onion, escalion, thyme and scotch bonnet pepper are added. The rice is then added. The red peas give the rice a slightly brownish red shade. This dish is frequently eaten with meat dishes such as curry goat or jerked chicken. Bami is a flatbread made from cassava. It can be fried, baked, or steamed, and is usually eaten with escovished fish. Bami is believed to have originated from the Tainos, the first inhabitants of Jamaica. It was a traditional bread staple until the cheaper imported bread staples were introduced into the Jamaican market. For vegans and vegetarians, Bami is a safe Jamaican food. Just make sure it's definitely with some excavaged fish. <laughs> Speaking of goat, the head, testicles, and other scraps of the animal are saved for a light soup we call manish water, which is a favorite Jamaican dish. This spicy and flavorful soup is also a party and night-night favorite and is served as a meal starter. No foray in Jamaican cuisine is complete without trying out the desserts. Sweet potato pudding is one of the most popular favorite Jamaican desserts. This pudding is made with Jamaican sweet potato, coconut milk, raisins, nutmeg, cinnamon, and other spices. Patties are one of the most popular Jamaican snack foods. A patty consists of various types of meat fillings enclosed in a crispy flaky crust. The meat filling is usually ground beef. However, other meat fillings such as shrimp and lobster can be used. If you want a vegetarian option, you can try the aki or kalu patties. These patties are frequently eaten with cocoa bread. A few popular outlets for purchasing patties are sugar and spice and tasty stores. Escoviche is Jamaica's version of South America ceviche. Fish, usually a whole fish, is fried until it's crispy. A sauce of vinegar, scotch bonnet peppers, onions, carrots, pimentos, and sweet peppers is then poured over the fish. This popular Jamaican dish is usually eaten with bami or festivals. A favorite spot for locals to get escovish fish is the Hellshire Beach in Kingston. Uh -huh.